Okay, so this camper is it's a truck camper, and it's again made by New Camp, but this is their Cirrus line. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are made for the larger like F250s and F350s style vans. The this is what we came in to look at because I think this is going to be really interesting, similar to this to their smaller trailers, but okay. This is really nice. Wow. Okay, yeah, you do that. Huh. Okay, so same same type of setup here with the glycol and Aldi system. Nice quality. I like that. So again, nice quality wood that is just plywood, but it is Pretty nice quality. I, I I don't mind this. I like the nice switches over here. RV style, you know, something that you see pretty often. But they're here. Oh, it's interesting. You can turn off on and off the backup camera. But that's kind of cool. Again, Dometic sink, Dometic cooktop. Kind of your control center over here with the Aldi system. Tank levels. Um, this is not too bad. This, this is interesting how, uh, how when they come and they don't even clean them up, you know, with the aluminum shavings, probably installing something in here. That's always surprises me that dealers don't, you know, pay attention to details like cleaning stuff, but I used to sell cars. I kind of know how that works. So, but um, this is interesting. So Techniform, see this little sticker on here? I would like to look that up. I've, I don't know what that is, but you know, I like to look stuff up and see who makes what, but... So another kind of a cool attention here, this is not a cheap... This is not a cheap microwave. But it's not this, small either, it's enormous. No, it's enormous, look at that. It's freaking huge. And this is a, you know, this is a high-end expensive microwave. And looks like it's got a built-in hood. So this is very much a, um, you know, a household style. So, okay, I see a little bit of an issue here. So this is sagging. So this is your, oh, this is like an LED ribbon in there. So, yeah, you see like there's little things that, you know, not so much attention being paid. But backsplash is plastic. It's kind of cool. I guess it protects the, the windows from getting splashed on and stuff. But a lot of, a lot of storage here. This is nice. And if you look over here, this is, I think these are registers. I can see, I can feel like a pipe in there of some sorts, but I think this is for the, the Aldi system in here. Um, pretty comfortable uh, dinette. So this is a four person dinette. It's a, okay, so it's a little weird because it's not really a four person dinette because you can't really sit over here because there's something underneath you keep. So, comfortably two person, maybe four person. So you can't really get all the way down here, so. But the table, nice quality. This is, you know, house grade, I would say. Nice, feels nice and solid. This is good. Nice big window, this is a huge window. So, it, it, another interesting thing is to figure out like the cost. So this thing is about 30 grand, right? But you look and you combine all these pieces and you figure out like how do they how do they make it for thirty grand? And you look at other campers that are thirty, forty thousand dollars that are use a lot less quality materials in them, but they're so expensive. Like, look at this window. Again, this is a dual pane window. Um, I don't know if it's a Dometic or not, but Dometic does make these. And th I looked up at the cost of these windows. You know, if you buy them retail, a window of this size is about seven hundred dollars. So this is not a cheap window. And there is one, two, three, four. So three over there, four, five, probably one in the bathroom, so six. So there's six windows in there. So that's that's expensive, you know? I mean, even they're $500 each or $300 each, that's a lot of money. So I like seeing that. I like seeing nicer equipment. Another thing in here. So this is the cabinetry above. I see a piano hinge here. This is a 
This is a hinge that goes all the way across. I wonder what that does. Oh, you know what this is? I know what this is. This is, I think, a bunk bed. What? Yes, this is a bunk bed. What? This is really cool. So we'll talk about the, the ginormous bed over there, but I think this thing has a bunk bed. I don't, I have no idea how to get it out of there, but I know there is one in here. Oh, I wish I knew how to open it. Somehow you can get it to open. And to come out here. Oh, here it is. I got it. Yes. So, okay. Let's see how this works. Okay. I think there's a hinge over here that you need to unlatch. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. Yep. So here it is. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> so there is a little bunk bed here. Probably mostly for a child, but um, See yeah, I don't think I, no, I don't. I think I might break it. This does not look like anything more than a child in, that can that can be in here. There's probably a load rating of 50 pounds or less in here, but it's cool. I mean, I I think this is a cool idea. It's you know, like a coffin. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, okay, so here it is. It says right here, bunk cabinet must be closed and locked when traveling. 100 pound maximum weight limit. Thing you didn't so get that's in. so cool. You can put your dog in here, right? <laughs> no mastics, please. <laughs> but one thing you can't forget is to probably lock it because you'd be driving and this thing will fall on you and there will be a total disaster in here. Now, I tell you, not the best locking system here. It uses a cotter pin right over there. I'll show you. Use a cotter pin. Mm, not great. Love these. Again, I'm being a huge nerd here. These lights are really cool and it took me a while to figure out who makes them. The company is called Dream Lighting and a lot of European campers use these lights. They're nothing like I have ever seen in any other camper and they have lots of cool features and they look absolutely amazing. There will be a link in the description on how to get them. You actually can buy them from Amazon. This is cool. Same as on the other camper, same type of roof. Um, nice little okay so this one comes with electric uh remote jacks i think you actually have to plug this one in so but still better than using your hand um nice cabinetry your uh power center is here similar to the one that we upgraded in our casita recently um let's see what brand it is model I'm not really sure what brand it is, but it looks very similar to our boondocker. So, but over here, little window. So, not that we'll be able to use that much. So, pretty decent sized fridge, a Narcold model again. Oh, this is pretty good. Um, AC on the roof. Got a little bit of an issue here, but not a big deal. It's like they use like tape because I think these are seams between the panels. So, I mean, you get in here, you run your finger through it, maybe put a little adhesive before you know, before you actually start using it if you care about the detail. But the bed, again, um, again, your stereo system in here, which is awesome. I think this is great. This is really cool. The, um, another thing is, uh, nice thing about having a Froyo system is that you don't have to have it nearly as thick of a mattress because you get it's like a spring spring loaded mattress so in here wow there's a ton of room in here like this is a big bed look at this like this is crazy this is huge and also this awesome uh, skylight here that opens you can imagine you're laying down here and you're just like, oh, let's look at the sky and look, look at the, you know, look at the stars and stuff. So this is really cool. Um, lots of storage over here, looks like it. So another thing is just looking at the details here. All the hardware is the security lock style bolts. 
Um, and a piano hinge. It didn't skimp on the hinges. These are expensive hinges. So there is lots of storage over here. Speakers over there. This is interesting. The, the, the TV thing is kind of cool. It's like an entire box that moves out. Get on the piano hinge. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I like that, but I guess it's kind of cool. And you can. Uh, I think you can lock it in there. Yep. But you know what? It doesn't lock all the way. So imagine you'll be driving. This thing would be swinging around. So that's another thing to pay attention to. Probably gonna have to fix that. Um, same thing over here. More storage. Same as over there. Um, More storage over here. This is pretty nice. I mean, the quality is is there for sure. Yeah, this is nice. I would like bathroom. to know more details. Oh yes, let's take a let's take a take a look at the bathroom. So, all right, take a look at that. Wow, this is interesting. Gross. This is rust. So I wonder what happened here. Potential leak or maybe just contamination? I don't know. It's just one. This one is uh, has something else on it, but it's okay. So this is pretty cool. Get in here. It's about the same size as the the other thing, the other one. Maybe a little smaller. Uh, I like this. This is cool. Um, a little holder. This is cool. This is a little uh, towel, rack. towel rack. Yep. Little towel rack. Same thing. All the here metal fan not a fantastic fan but just like a little little fan same thing over here drop down sink same style toilet it's all plastic so this is not, not too bad closet look at the on the right here so again this doesn't lock so you probably want to adjust that you know, when you, like just, like those are little things like I would call like quality control, you know, just little things. So, I mean, this is all metal. This is all metal hardware. But again, you'd probably want to, uh, you know, adjust the striker. So when you close it, it's uh, maybe bring it a little more forward or something like that. But, you know, little details here and there. Can't worry to look at the closet in here. So we can show a little equipment here. So, so, so another thing that's interesting, uh, so it's made by Pleasant Valley Teardrop Trailers. So it's the same company that made tabs and tags originally for the little guy. And now they're not together anymore, so uh, that's a separate company now. But the interesting thing is, what i uh, kind of paying attention over here, um, for some reason they put kilograms before they put pounds. So is this, it's European kind of heritage you know because it does look like it's a European camper so but yeah so right here it says that the camper weight is um, we'll skip the whole um, the whole kilograms here but if you can get closer we can show this so 2,886 pounds this is maximum weight it contains standard equipment so dry weight so it's probably quite a bit more yes it's dry weight so then you add equipment um, to it or like all your stuff in there and then water so it's got 38 gallons of water fresh water and of uh, gas so there's 40 pounds of gas refrigerator so this kind of tells you so you come up with all this extra stuff put it all together and then you get results for what the um, what your uh, gross 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 weight would be so look at your truck see what your payload capacity is and then you can match that to uh to the to your truck make sure you don't have a too little of a truck yeah but that's it let's go take a look at the outside real quick okay so outside electric jacks i think these are an additional thing you probably want to order them if you ever wanted them because they come pre-wired so there's a little plug over here it's nice to have those obviously these are all locked, or most of them are. So let's see inside. Construction, this looks like some sort of a, some sort of insulation. Um, so the flooring, you can kind of see, I was always actually curious. So the floor 
does definitely have a little bit of insulation in it which is nice so this is your electric jack system with all of the wiring and everything so it's quite a bit of quite a bit of extra stuff that you need if you don't order it with an original or buy it one that has it already can't open this this is locked this is open so your water your outdoor shower so I think these are actually considered four season campers so all the tanks are probably heated by the Aldi system and being it's got registers it should be able to just heat everything LED lights over here it's really nice so this is your this is your 30 amp probably maybe it even has a 50 amp system so 30 amp this is a 30 amp um construction all of this is fiberglass you know it looks like they're using nice sealants to seal all of this your aluminum tie downs it does have a lot of places where you have to check for uh for sealant so that's that's one thing to worry about See your plug for the truck to get all your lights. Drain is over here. Interesting. I wonder what drain that is. Because if this is in your... Oh, I guess this will be off your truck. This would be behind your truck. So the, the drain is underneath. So yeah, the tanks are inside. So definitely, if they're heated with an Aldi system, it's, it's definitely a four-season setup. So there is a nice, nice high-quality rack. I don't know, maybe it's made by Thule or something, but this is nice. Let's try to go up, up above, let's see. There's an awning over here, Fiamma, nice, okay. So, let's take a look at the roof. It is, looks like one piece fiberglass. It's definitely lots of potentials for leaks not all sealed this is a, a low profile AC unit this is cool it's got a roof rack so you can and this is just a like a regular car style roof roof rack so you can mount things on top and it will be um, very similar to like what you would do with your car also solar so this one's got solar probably 200 watts not too bad so the next camper we're gonna check out, don't think we can see inside unfortunately, but there might be a couple open ones, is a Northern Light. So these are, I'd say, cream of the crap, so, but let's take a look at this, that one if we can.